Hey everybody, here today with Luna the Math Cat, and we're going to talk about compound events. If Luna's going to settle down, anyway. So, what's a compound event? The set of all possible outcomes of one or more events is called the sample space. Okay? So you take everything that can possibly happen is part of the sample space. Use tables and tree diagrams to find the sample space of two or more events. So, for example, uh, you randomly choose a crust and a style of pizza. Find the sample space. How many different pizzas are possible? Okay, so your choices are you can have a thin crust or you can have a stuffed crust. Okay. And you can choose Hawaiian, Mexican, pepperoni, or veggie pizza. Well... Um, if you do that, your outcomes are that you can have um, a thin Hawaiian crust, a thin Mexican crust, a thin pepperoni crust, and a thin crust veggie. Or you can have a stuffed Hawaiian crust, a stuffed Mexican, a stuffed pepperoni, or a stuffed veggie pizza. So there's eight possible things, okay? You've got eight possible outcomes. <coughs> So you had two possible outcomes for your first event, and you had four possible outcomes for your second event, and you have a total of eight possible outcomes overall. This is called your sample space right here. Okay, so fundamental counting principle. An event, here, let's do this so we can focus here. The event M has little m possible outcomes, and the event N has n possible outcomes. The total number of outcomes of event M followed by event N is little m times little n. A compound event consists of two or more events. Just like with a single event, the probability of a compound event is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. Okay, so let's say we have a coin and we have a dice. Okay, and we're going to uh, flip a coin, and then we're going to roll the dice. Find the total number of possible outcomes of rolling a die and flipping the coin. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what order we do it in, um, but for the dice, we have a heads or a tails. Okay, now when I roll the, I'm sorry, not for the dice, for the coin. Now for the dice, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, or six, and I have that for both of these. Okay, so over here I can also go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Needs more room is what I need. Oops, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, now, what is my sample space going to be? Well, I can go to each one of these things right here. Okay, so I can have a heads and a one, a heads and a two, a heads and a three, a heads and a four, a heads and a five, and a heads and a six. Or I can have a tails and a one, tails and a two, tails and a three, tails and a four, tails and a five, tails and a six. So that's six items down here, that's six items up here, that's a total of 12 items. Okay, so there's 12 possible outcomes. Okay, so there you go. There's my total number of possible outcomes. All right, how many different outfits can you make from the t-shirts, jeans, and shoes in the closet? Okay, so I, it might be a little hard to see. There's four t-shirts up here. There's two, four, six, seven. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. 
there's four jeans up here, there's seven t-shirts, and there's three pairs of shoes. So how many different outcomes can I have? Well, the first thing I would do <clears throat> is probably take the shoes. Okay, so for shoes, I can have shoe one, shoe two, and shoe three. Okay, or actually, what is it? It's, it's uh, white shoes. shoes or black shoes okay now out of those I can choose um, any one of those seven uh, shirts okay so there's uh, there's like gold there's yellow there's pink there's red, there's blue, green, and black. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and clone that and clone that. You can run out of room quick on something like this. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got uh, each one of those would have four pairs of jeans, okay? So <laughs> there's, there's blue, there's tan, there's red, and there's black. Okay, now here's the deal. Each one of these goes... For each one of these colors so I don't want to have to there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit all that in here but you can kind of see that this is gonna go like this and each one of these is gonna go like this okay so I've got three choices. here's the way I'm gonna calculate it I've got three choices of shoes I'm gonna multiply that by the seven colors of t-shirts and I'm going to multiply that by the four colors of jeans, which means I've got 21 times 4, or uh, 84 combinations. Okay, that are possible. So I'd have to repeat this for each one of these, and you'd, you'd count them all up, and then you'd have 84. Okay, so that's how many different outfits you can make from those combinations. Now, if you were to predict, okay, uh, Mr. Lippy's going to wear the, uh, the yellow shirt with the black jeans and the green tennis shoes, you would have a 1 in 84 chance of guessing that correctly. All right, so here we go. we're going to flip three nickels. What is the probability of flipping two heads and one tails? Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to flip it three times. So we can get a heads or a tails on the first one. Okay, now the second one, I can get a heads or a tails. And here I can get a heads tails. Okay, so here's my choices so far on the first two flips. Okay, now, each one of these, I can get a head or a tail. see this gets big really quick. So here's all my possible outcomes that I can have. I can flip a heads, a heads, and a heads, a heads, a heads, and a tails, a heads, a tails, and a heads, heads, tails, tails, okay, and so on. Now, what's the probability of flipping two heads and one tails? Now, it doesn't say anything about order, 
Okay, so anything where I have two heads and one tail is going to be a possibility. So this one would be a possibility right here. Um, this one would be a possibility right here. Uh, this would be a possibility right here. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so there's three chances of getting two heads and one tail out of a total of eight. So the probability would be three and eight or 37.5%. Um, Okay. So you're going to get to do a few probability questions here. We're going to do 1 through 33 odd in class tomorrow. I will see you guys later. Have a great evening.